show you guys how cute this little gingerbread shake is. I just made this for my Instagram reels, but this is what I am having for my post-workout shake, which is, I'll pop the macros over here because I haven't done them yet, but it's so cute. These little guys are from uh, Trader Joe's. And then I have these at the base, which is the Ben & Jerry's gingerbread cookie dough. Amazing, incredible. Gonna have this and then I'm gonna take Eliza for her nail appointment. Alrighty, so it is 12 o'clock. I am sauteing up some veggies and I just have some leftover meal prep potatoes and barbecue chicken thighs that I'm gonna make for lunch today. I'm gonna cook the salmon meal, <laughs> the infamous salmon meal for dinner. It is actually marinating in this bag right here. So I want the full marination. So I'm saving that <laughs> for dinner. This is four ounces of chicken thighs. 75 grams of potatoes and then a cup of the veggies and I've honestly been really loving this vegan creamy dill dressing from Trader Joe's I know this is supposed to be like a salad dressing, but I think it's really good on the vegetables. No, I'm not weighing it honestly, I feel like With how long I've been doing this Like if I'm weighing my vegetables or my like dressings to that extent something's wrong So not saying that there's not a time or place for that because there obviously is but like just to live your life man Don't let it consume you, you know, so I'm gonna eat this I waited again to take the dogs on a WALK because this morning it was way too cold. I do have a running workout. It's a pretty long one later today, so that's kind of why I wanted to eat this early. I've noticed that like if I eat too much close to the running, I get the cramps, like the side cramps way easier. So I'm trying to uh, avoid that by eating my lunch earlier, but I most likely will have a very small snack before running because three hours is a long time for me to go without eating. <laughs> All right, I'll be back for my snack. On the dot, going to mix in some of these Hydro Charge Pink Lemonade. They're not aminos, it's just hydration. We'll do the double lemonade amino and pink lemonade Hydro Charge. I'm just gonna get this dang run over with. Okay, I actually decided that I'm really hungry and I don't wanna wait till I eat my salmon for dinner. So I'm gonna have this, uh, is here banana. It didn't have the iced gingerbread, but I've been loving these. I just wanna taste it. <laughs> Anyone else do this or it's just like, I just want a little tiny bite just to try it. This is the uh, white chocolate cranberry seasonal flavor. Mm-hmm. That's good. Oh yeah. It's just right over my bra. It's a mess. Now I'm gonna wait though, I think till like 3.30. If I try to go run like right this second with all this in my stomach right now, I'm gonna get a cramp. I just have my snack later, damn it. All right, I'm thinking, let's just, let's do a 30 minute intervals. All right. Let's do our 30 minute intervals. for 14 ish minutes and that was plenty you just want to let them rest I am heating my rice up in the microwave about to put together the salmon bowl you already know <laughs> so this is the finished product I wish I had the crunchy seaweed crisps but apparently Annie's discontinued them so for a crunch element tonight I put wonton strips in there it's four ounces of salmon the jasmine rice from Trader Joe's this little very cocky <laughs> Japanese multi-purpose seasoning, amazing on fish bowls, and it's just, this is literally, I have been obsessed with this bowl. So, I'm gonna eat this, and then I'll come back for dessert. I'm actually so hungry. <laughs> Look what I have, I found these recently. New flavor of these Yasso bars, birthday cake, freaking fire. This is what I'm gonna have for my dessert, but still definitely gonna eat later because it's only 4.30, <laughs> but the running makes me hungry, man, I don't know.
patches. I'm still like so broken out on my chin this week. It's driving me crazy. This is my final meal, snack. I absolutely love, 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 love to do oatmeal at night, high in fiber. I obviously add the peanut butter so it gives me some fats, keep me full throughout the night. I never, ever wake up hungry when I have oatmeal at nighttime. So I know it's deemed as like a breakfast food, but if you've never tried nighttime oats, give them a try. So final macros for the day. People always ask me calorie wise, 2,167 calories, uh, 145 grams of protein, 265 grams of carbs, 31 grams of fiber, 61 grams of sugar, 60 grams of fat, and 1,608 milligrams of sodium, which is honestly pretty low today, probably why I was feeling a little bit lightheaded before my run earlier, that's why I ended up eating. Recently, I think I talked about this on my Instagram, um, but like, if I, I feel like it's like my blood sugar drops so quickly throughout the day. I don't know if it's just because I'm so routine with my eating and like how much I eat throughout the day, how many carbs, sugars, and all that stuff, but like, if it's a longer stretch, I literally will start to feel like shaky, I'll get lightheaded, like I need to eat. It is so wild. All my blood work came back totally normal, minus my cholesterol, but that's I think because I eat a more like lower fat diet because of my stomach issues. We're just, we're just thriving. <laughs> that is everything that I ate today. I had two training sessions. My first one was lifting and CrossFit workout. And then obviously I did my 30 minute run in the evening and my total steps for the day. I don't know if you can see this, but hold on. 16,771, um, but it's seven o'clock and I'm probably just gonna go sit on the couch, so not much more than that. So that's a wrap for the day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this full day of eating video. If you did, you already know what to do. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, follow along for Vlogmas, and I'll see you in the next episode.